The world of IT infrastructure is full of challenges. Whether it's flooding, ice storms, heat waves, or software issues that are unintentional, such as bugs or intentional, like ransomware, the range of problems that can cause a business outage is constantly increasing. In addition to the need for businesses to keep innovating, to grow or maintain their customer base, the concept of a static IT infrastructure isn't based on reality. Cybercrime is out there, waiting to negatively impact businesses with data threats and downtime. It doesn't matter what industry you're a part of, if you run a business, they want in. Thankfully, there's a way to minimize this by implementing a robust, well-considered business continuity, or BC, solution. Throughout this video, we'll explore the importance of BC plans, disaster recovery, or DR, and what key recovery metrics to use when designing a solution. Let's begin with the obvious, how business downtime poses a growing threat to daily operations. According to a study by Uptime Institute, organizations are facing an increasingly concerning trend of lengthy downtime incidents. From 2017 to 2022, the number of outage incidents exceeding 12 hours doubled, reaching approximately 32%, resulting in more significant total costs. Let's look at two 2023 incidents involving a couple of well-known Las Vegas resorts falling victim to ransomware attacks. Caesars Palace was charged a $15 million ransom, and despite the U.S. Department of Treasury and FBI advising against it, they decided to pay it. Conversely, MGM opted not to pay the ransom. This led to roughly 10 days of limited operations for MGM, resulting in a $100 million revenue hit and an additional $10 million fee to clean up the aftermath. Disasters come in many forms, and one of the newer forms is data breaches. While downtime is always harmful, its impact varies significantly depending on the industry sector, with seasonal considerations and contractual obligations playing crucial roles. This chart shows downtime's financial impact for two major categories, data breaches and traditional reasons such as hardware or software failures, power outages, or natural disasters. At approximately $4.5 million, the average cost of downtime caused by data breaches is significantly more than the cost of downtime caused by traditional reasons, which is about $1 million. Let's look at a few real-world examples. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, once went down because a contractor unintentionally deleted files while working to correct synchronization between the live primary database and a backup database. This resulted in over 1,300 flight cancellations and 9,000 delays. A power outage in Atlanta caused Delta Airlines' computer system to fail, which generally wouldn't be an issue with Delta's backup systems in place. However, the critical systems and network equipment did not switch over for whatever reason. This impacted over 2,000 flights and cost Delta an estimated $150 million. On the other hand, Common Spirit, a nonprofit healthcare provider, experienced a cyber attack impacting multiple facilities within the health system, including more than 1,000 care sites and 140 hospitals across 21 states. As a precaution, Common Spirit took electronic health records, or EHRs, offline leading to delays, appointment cancellations, and the suspension of online services like patient portals. Overall, they lost over $150 million due to the breach. Another example of downtime within the healthcare vertical was caused not by a data breach, but by a traditional reason. NHS in the UK had a critical 12-hour IT outage that affected two large hospitals. This resulted in ambulances being diverted to other hospitals and the general public being advised to stay away from the ER, thus placing actual lives at risk. Even tech giants such as AWS, Microsoft, and Google are not immune to downtime with their platforms. Each has had incidents that impacted a wide range of services and companies, including small businesses, payment apps, airline reservations, auto dealerships, e-commerce operations, and various smart devices. 
Downtime and data breaches have substantial costs to all businesses. However, there are examples of it leading to testimony before governmental agencies who have the power to restructure these institutions to make downtime and data breaches less likely. So, what is needed to mitigate the impact of downtime? Robust disaster recovery plans. That's what. Business continuity solutions are essential for mitigating the impact of downtime and data loss, but you must answer these two questions before choosing one. Regarding Recovery Point Objective, or RPO, how much data can your application lose and still be okay? And for Recovery Time Objective, or RTO, what is the cost opportunity of your application being offline? It may seem like a technical discussion, However, the reality is that these are very straightforward questions that one can address to the application owners. However, not all applications are equally important. Have you classified and prioritized your applications based on their business impact? To help classify applications, consider three priority groups based on how critical they are to the business. First is a low priority situation where downtime may go unnoticed. For example, at a hospital, the application that automates visitor badges is down and the front desk must resort to a manual process. Second is a medium priority situation where downtime causes an inconvenience but doesn't critically impact the business. An example is the collection of medication for a patient where the pharmacy digital records are down, so the pharmacist must use manual records to identify patients' allergies. Lastly, a high priority situation where downtime directly impacts the business's and even patient's survival. For example, the digital imaging application is offline at a hospital while a patient needs to get a CAT scan in an emergency situation. Each application group will have different RPO and RTO requirements depending on their priority level. Let's envision a simplified timeline to explore RPO and RTO. Initially, everything is operating smoothly without any major issues. Although not depicted here, your IT solutions ideally perform regular backups or synchronized copies throughout this timeline. Suddenly, an unforeseen event occurs. This causes your systems to go offline. This results in a service outage. RPO denotes the amount of data a business can afford to lose, determined through its Business Impact Analysis, or BIA. It represents how recent a clean, non-infected point-in-time copy or backup is. While lower RPO values are desirable, they typically come with higher costs. RTO signifies the maximum downtime or service outage a business can afford. It measures how quickly applications can be restarted with clean data accessed from the RPO. While shorter RTO values are preferred, they typically come with higher costs. For a company's mission-critical applications that are hypersensitive of data loss or downtime, where RTO and RPO values are in the range of seconds, DR infrastructure tends to be more expensive, often involving multi-site, active-active solutions that provide a synchronous replication for mission-critical apps and services. For core applications and services that have medium priority, RTO and RPO values may fall within the range of hours. These solutions are generally less expensive, typically consisting of warm standby active passive setups that use asynchronous replication. Lastly, for lower priority applications and services, where RTO and RPO values may extend to days, the solutions are the least expensive and suitable for backup and restore active passive setups. Effective disaster recovery planning also requires careful consideration of RTO, RPO, and data integrity across diverse application portfolios. Delving into the decision-driving factors when selecting business continuity and disaster recovery solutions, some key considerations come into play when crafting a BC plan. Total costs of downtime, which sheds light on the financial implications of downtime, whether stemming from traditional causes or data breaches business and regulatory requirements, which underscore the significance of meeting specific business needs, encompassing functionality, availability, and regulatory compliance. An example is the European Union's DORA, or Digital Operation Resiliency Act, which specifies recovery times that some technologies would be unable to meet. Finally, as mentioned, 
it's crucial to determine the RTO and RPO for individual applications or organizational groups. Here are the key considerations for DR. Carefully evaluate the data replication method across distances to ensure consistency and effective recovery for each application. Ensure the solution's infrastructure robustness, which, if sufficient, furnishes the necessary resiliency, capacity, security, and the solution's ability to span multiple sites. Ensure adequate network bandwidth is available to facilitate data movement within the premises and to remote sites. This encompasses local, metropolitan, and global locations. Prioritizing performance over distance is important because DR solutions often incorporate enhancements for data replication performance. This includes traffic optimization, compression, and path resiliency measures to maintain swift data flow. It's important to consider both business-driven and technical factors when selecting the most suitable BCDR solution that aligns with an organization's unique needs and goals. Brocade knows what successful DR requires for mission-critical applications. With over 28 years' experience in storage networking, we've developed these key capabilities for enterprise mission-critical storage infrastructure. Long-distance connectivity, which is essential for true global DR. Security enhancements that protect data against breaches. Technology simplicity that reduces the complexity of setup, managing, and troubleshooting the high performance needed for DR data replication and recovery, visibility into data flows that provide proactive management during DR, proven scalability that allows for simple infrastructure growth as the business itself grows, and rock-solid reliability, which is the foundation of application uptime. Brocade Fiber Channel Technology has offered proven solutions with these characteristics for decades. Whether caused by a data breach or more traditional cause like software failures, power outages, or natural disasters, downtime is a serious threat to any organization, no matter what industry they fall under. Thankfully, there's a way to minimize this by implementing robust, well-considered BC and DR plans offered by Brocade Fiber Channel Technology. With over 28 years of experience in storage networking, Brocade's solutions offer the right features for enterprise mission-critical storage infrastructure. Trust us, we've been doing it for decades.